Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show WorkSoft's integration with HP ALM. This part 2 video will show how we can run HP ALM test sets from Execution Manager. Lights out testing and continuous testing are tip of tongue in the industry. People are very interested in, in large scale scheduling and interoperability of running their tests. WorkSoft Execution Manager provides the ability to distribute agents geographically and use physical and virtual machines to actually run your tests. We support massive parallel test execution, automatic load balancing, and you can also do dependency checking based on running your test results. The nice thing is Execution Manager manages your remote desktops and we allow you to log in with different users so based on your testing requirements you may need different users because the security roles are different in the application. With Execution Manager we support running not only certified processes but also HBALM or Quality Center test sets. In this demo we'll show how that works. In Quality Center I have a test lab. This test lab points to a series of different tests. These tests inside of here happen to be certified tests that test ServiceNow and SAP. So I can actually point to these tests from Execution Manager. What I'm going to come do is I'm going to log into Execution Manager. I'm going to come to my requests. I'm going to create a new request. When it comes to my processes, you'll see there's a button now that says New ALM Test Sets. I'll select my instance of HP ALM. And now I can see a list of the test sets. The one I was pointing to was my two plans. These are the other ones there. If I say save, what will happen is I now have a, a request, an execution manager, which will run a HP ALM based test. I can do things like schedule them to run on specific machines or any machines. Maybe I want them to run in the Dallas machines versus the Chicago machines or vice versa. So what I literally can do is set up my test, point to the environment I want it to run in, and then save. At this point, I've created a request to run this. So here's my HP ALM test. I'll go and enable it. And I can now request to run now. I can schedule this or I can use on-demand requests from things like Jenkins. In this case, I'm going to run it now. We'll see it's been queued to, to run. If I see, it's now running. It says it's in the status of executing. So what I'm going to do is come look at my resources and actually see what's happening. I can see that I've logged into this machine as WorkSoft 3 and is executing the test. In the picture below I can see that the HP connectivity tools have been activated and I'm starting to run my certified processes. In this case I had two tests. I had one that run tests ServiceNow and the next run one runs SAP GUI. In my environment I'm actually using Windows servers. Notice I have max RDP sessions of three. So if I actually schedule multiple tests within one request, we use as many logins as is available on the resource to actually run the test. So technically, I could run up to five of these in parallel if I have five RDP sessions, or in this case, I have three RDP sessions, I can run three in parallel. So what I can see is the first test ran, and now the second test is starting to run. In this case, it's logging into SAP and is processing a sales order. The interesting thing here is this test is actually being run from HP um, ALM. So our traditional quality center is what's actually running the test and gathering the results. 
we're just using Certify or Execution Manager to actually schedule those. So Execution Manager is able to manage the resource and the users associated with those resources. This means we can have different combinations of environments we want to run in and then associate different, say, Windows logins with those environments. The advantage is you can actually have different user perspectives, different logons that have different, say, Active Directory profiles and run your tests there. So we can see here the test is completed. If I come back to my home and I look at what's completed today, I can see my new request to run happened, it failed, and that's because one of the tests passed and one of the tests failed. So to get the details, I'm actually going to go over into Quality Center. What we do is we actually run this from the Quality Center perspective. So if I come to my test runs, I can see I've just run the um, in my environment my tests. So I can see I've run my service now and my order to cache. So the results of the run are actually being stored over in HP ALM. So the advantage for me is that my my documentation of my system is all here. So I can see my event logs, I can see my test steps, I can see the details of the tests, I can see if it failed, I can see the screenshots are all located here inside of um, HP ALM. We also attach a BPP document. So in this case I have a full document which describes the test actions and shows me the reports and the screenshots. So the point is, I can actually have all of my tests and certify running over in HP ALM, but schedule them with Execution Manager. Execution Manager is very helpful when it comes to actually scheduling your tests to run in parallel or on reoccurring schedules, or you can actually run them on demand from your CI CD platform. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can join the community at WorkSoft.com and see more information, and you can also get your latest version of Certified from there.